So I want to do a video on how to replace the brake shoes on a 93 club car. Now the brake shoes have something you need to know. First thing you need to know, on your serial number on your golf cart, the, let me, let me I'm doing this on my phone, sorry. The first two digits, A93, I'm going to tell you what year golf cart you have. And the A is going to signify whether you have a DS or a precedent. This, however, is a DS. Now, these brakes are very simple. Um, there's no crown bolts. There's no nothing to, to hold it on except the lug nuts. So, the wheel goes on. And, and I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm going to do a quick video. The wheel, you know, you pop your lug nuts, which... If you're doing brake shoes on a golf cart, you know how to take a wheel off. So I'm not going to show you that part. So you're going to pop your lug nuts, take your wheel off. The pressure of the lug nuts is what's holding the drum on. So once you get it off, brakes get dirty. Especially drum brakes get phenomenally dirty. So this could be st stiff, hard to clean out. Make sure you got some air pressure or some brake cleaner. You can get in here and knock some of this stuff loose. Now, that's just going to slide off. First thing you want to do is you want to check your drum and make sure that this is the contact point of the brakes. Slide your finger along the inside and you should not feel a lip. You shouldn't feel any roughness. I'm doing this on my phone, so sorry about the crazy angles. Now, on the Club Car DS, which is not the precedent, this is the manual adjuster. And so what happens is, down here on the bottom, when you hit the brakes, this thing expands the bottom of the brakes out and pushes them in there. This is the manual adjuster. And you can see, hopefully, if I can get this thing to focus on me. So as you screw this bolt out, this crown, it's tapered kind of like an arrow. And it comes out and it pushes against these things right here. Uh, they're angled, so they ride on the inside of this. They slide out, expanding your brake locations. So when you first do this, these will be all the way in here. The tips of your brakes will literally be down in these grooves. The way that you tighten that is this bolt. And you can see mine is boogered up because this is a square bolt. And it's right about 7 millimeters, or the equivalent in fraction, whatever your standard wrench is. I'm not real sure. I know it's not 3 8 that's close to a quarter, but um, close to a quarter. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so as you tighten this, so from here, if I tighten this lefty loosey righty tighty, it's going to push this out. And because that's tapered, this will expand your brakes out, dropping the clearance. Here. All right, so sorry about the jumping video. So now what we have to do because the spring holding those those brakes on this spring here and spring down there um, is super tight and these springs which a little bit close so these springs you're just going to compress that down spin that thing where it'll slide through that slot and this will pop off those are a lot of fun to put back on. <laughs> Getting off, <laughs> that's easy. So anyway, moving right along. So I'm going to just cut the video and do the work just because I'm doing this with a cell phone. Durr. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this. So this bolt is threaded in there. So if I turn this way, it's going to tighten it in this way. If I turn this way, it's going to loosen it out. So I'm going to crank it all the way back out. So my angle is I'm going to crank this all the way back out. So it pulls this thing in here all the way back out. And it allows the brakes here to close all the way in. And so pause and we'll come right back. All right. So that's all the way back out. And here's how you know. I got a, a eight millimeter open in 
a wrench on there and it'll kind of grab that when I come up oops sorry when I come up boom it stops like it bottoms out there's no more there's no more bolt and the other thing is I told you these are gonna come all the way back up into those grooves I think if I slide this a little bit you'll be able to see so you'll see now these brakes they're all the way up into them grooves those things and that little thing that was uh, pointed out you can now see the actual adjusters themselves they've 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 clamped all the way back together so that's how that thing is working so so what I wanted to show you was these retention clips retention springs so coming to the back side you can see that it's that little flat piece that comes through it you'll see right here in the middle of the brake thing there's a little hole this has a flat head this is like a nail with a little flat piece on it so you're gonna come through and naturally that flat piece is gonna hold that on there this thing this brilliant piece of engineering you have the slot there but you have the open hole there so what happens is is you have you put your your nail through there you put your brake pad on there and uh, you squeeze this and uh, that'll fit through that slot and then when you squeeze it which like I said putting this on is a lot of fun when you squeeze it you got to somehow hold it and grab the tip here because you can't access it from the back side it's pretty much plus and then you're gonna turn this 90 degrees all right, so I've enlisted the help of my lovely assistant, my 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 middle child, my little my middle little. So I I told you I was gonna pop these off, but I kind of wanted you to see what's happening. So what I'm gonna do is I have a long screwdriver, and I'm gonna come in behind this wheel hub assembly, so I can get me some leverage. I'm kind of just gonna hook onto the top part of this spring, and I'm gonna pull forward. And you're going to see that spring kind of tighten up. Now, you're starting to see the pain in the butt that is this spring. As I squeeze it down, it wants to pop loose. So I just grab with that, and boom, so it pops out. And remember, when you've got the brakes can come loose, what you can do is you pull off the bottom side. That's going to give you a little play. Pull off the other bottom side. That's going to give you a little play. Here, and there's a little bit of tension here. Now that you've cranked in your manual adjuster all the way there's a tiny bit of a tension so I just come in here with this big long skinny wrench pop that off and then now your brake pad assembly will be loose but the spring will not clear between your manual adjuster and your wheel hub here so you have to come in on the bottom side pop your your spring off there's a lot of tension on this one I've seen the other ones are smaller and I'll slide this part in just kind of get it up here and work it around to where this shoe will come off and it's just it's not easy so that shoe came off and this is gonna allow me to slide this off all right we have a new camera angle um, we're back now we're gonna do the install of the brakes a couple things to be aware of um, the only way I could, I, I was going to just shoot, I was going to do the work and then show you the work done, but as far as getting these pads on, it's a bit of a trick. I figured out a few things to help me get it in there. One of the big problems you'll run into is, is the spring will not go down. Well, I say that it won't, but it seems like it's doing it. Um, it's, oh, so if you have one of these studs up here, the spring won't go down between it. So you have to orientate it so that the stud post on the back here are, are in there. Um, it's, it's a pain in the butt. So what I have done is first remember when you orientate your brake pads this, this, will, have, this will have a T and, and this is on the Club Car DS93 and the other side is going to have a taper. All of the brake pads are the same so you're not going to have a leading edge, trailing edge or anything like that. You're just going to install it. So remember T for top. Uh, what I have gone ahead and done is, is hook my brakes on and I got my T for my top and you can see the problem is when the spring gets put on it orientates where this is close to the back of the plate and the spring loops look from the back 
it come around to the front. So that's a pain in the tail. So I'll hook one of them on. I'm you know, trying to get them on here, fighting with it. So take one of them off, slide it under here, and then you can kind of grab the spring and then hook this other one on it. Um, it's, just, it's drum brakes, it's not easy to do. So. so you get those hooked on there, you can kind of let these drop down and you grab your other spring. I got my top spring hooked and then I'll just hook this back spring get it on in here. A little yellow jacket wanted to come check out what's going on. Do not make a mess or a nest in my yard. It's going to be a fight if you do yellow jacket. And so we get these brake pads hooked on in the back which like I said this is drum brakes so it's not fun. It's not easy. So I'll get these top pieces to orientate in here because that's the that's the, the lowest gap. So I'm gonna kind of get it with my palm, brace it, flex it over in there. And now when you start getting the spring tension on these brake pads, this is where you really want to be careful. Alright, so done a few things since I had the other side on but I did figure something out so we talked about the same tension here see this little piece right there and that little piece right there that's what's actually pushing out on the trailing edge of the brakes this thing when you put the brake on you want to put the trailing side on first because if you do not and you attempt to put this side into its groove first and you go putting pressure against that this right here will pop out I don't know if you can see because I can barely see the screen so you can see there's a little place where this is pivoting against it will snap out of that thing and when you get this into the groove your actuator is going to be under the brake pad and um, that's frustrating quite frustrating okay I didn't want to do this but you made me no I'm just kidding um, so I want you to see this tensioner so I went ahead and I pulled mine off of this golf cart because I think if you understand what you're doing when you adjust the brakes you're going to make better decisions about it. And I saw a video of guys like, you just grab this and crank it one time. If you understand what you're doing, you're not going to make any bad decisions. So this is what's pressing out on the outer part of your brakes. So we've gone over that. So I'm going to push out these adjusters because they're literally just sitting in there. This one's kind of boogered. Hold on. Doing this one-handed. Give me here with me. Alright, so I can't get that one out. Uh, oh, that one came out. Oh, yeah, hello. So, this is the adjuster that your brake, top of your brake pad sliding that groove, and there's that. So, now if you look in here, that's that little screw thing. So, now, I believe, well, there, there goes the other brake adjuster. So, now I have two. So, these will go in there to where they're orientated like these. So, and then that thing pushes out on them. See, does that make sense? That's pretty, that's pretty ingenious. So it pushes out on pushing your brakes apart. What's pushing out on them? This guy right here. So, man, one-handed videos are kind of amazing. So I'm going to screw this thing all the way out so you can kind of see what this thing is now bear with me because this thing ain't easy to get out with two hands and yeah I'm doing it one-handed hold on let me pause the video and get it out all right this is the bolt and you can see you have flat edge rounded flat rounded okay so what I did is I screwed this back in and now when I put these in I want to orientate so my slots on the outside and that's gonna ride in there like that. So this can push out against that, which I beat you over the head about that. Um, I think you get the point. Uh, okay. 
I can do this. I can do it. I believe in myself. Okay. Okay. I can't. Okay. I gotta pause. Okay. Unpause. So, I stuck him in there. Now I'm just gonna kind of push him in. Push him all the way in there. They should probably make contact. Make sure the grooves are lined up, because when you are fighting with these brake pads here in a minute, which I'm going to be doing, the first part of this video was done on that wheel right there. So as you can see, I have it all put together and it stops the wheel from spinning, which is the ultimate goal. So, so first things first, get your trailing edge. So, come on, focus. You get your trailing edge in, and I found the tops to be easier because there's not many moving parts. And then get the bottom side in. And then get this top in. And at that point, you're going to have tension. Everything's going to hold itself in place. And then you can use an ingenious tool. I have my... Uh, um, so in plumbing, there's like a little inside the actual handle. There's a thing that has... That type of tip or that type of tip, you stick this in here and unscrew it. Anyway, uh, back to back, back now, now, back to the lecture at hand. So, put that in there, and, et voila. So, remember how we talked about these brakes about you? That right there, ouch. Yeah, ouch. So, I figured out a trick. Let me let me demonstrate it, and I'll come right back. Ta-da! So, you know how you're fighting with this, and that spring is popping in and out. Can't really get your hands in here. You gotta put the clip in. So, how do you hold it in place? Well, my friend, with a vice grip. I'm gonna pop this vice grip loose so you can kind of see. There is no pressure, like zero, like nothing. Just enough that the brake pads are there. Because a vice grip, will rip your pad off so if you go clamping it down it's gonna rip it off so i'll try to show you so I'll just get in here and no see look 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 look. check it out i just boogered it hey there so i'm trying to tell y'all y'all ain't listening so i just boogered it right here so i'm gonna dust that off i'm gonna hold it down with my finger and then i'm gonna use the vice grips to kind of just like finger tight. Did I use my fingers to hold it? That's it. So, anyway, here comes the finished project. Dun dun dun. So, no, oh, focus. Focus on me. So, just enough. I'm actually letting the handle rest against the ground because it's so lightly grabbing that that it would fall off. So, now what I'm going to do. You should remember this guy right here. This is going into the back. And what's gonna happen is if I can. Alright, I gotta look away. I'm not looking at the screen, so if the shot gets weird, it's not. Technically, it's well, it's all my fault. So, I'm gonna stick that through there. <laughs> wait! I forgot to tell you something. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, so the vice grips are off. So. You see on the brake pad how you got this little ring right there, you got a little ring right there, and you got that little ring right there. I'm laying in a weird position, that's why it's hard to hold the phone steady. Well, those three rings are what's contacting here, there, and there. So, a couple things. You can focus before you hit play. <laughs> so, like I said, I got some of the brake lubricant, which you can buy at any of your family-friendly auto parts stores around town. AutoZone, um, Advance Auto, uh, there's the Irish one, oh, oh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Um, so, anyway, they, they have it there, they're probably at your golf cart store. I went to one here in town. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to drop their name just because... Oh man, I about pulled my golf cart off the stands. So, um, anyway, now that I grease that up, I digress. I go ahead and clamp that back on, put the spring clamps in there. All right, so here's our manual adjuster in action. Now, you remember, 
how it had those flat sides. So you can kind of watch. You see them kind of expand a little and then drop back. See what's happening? So that's what you'll feel when you'll tighten these up. So as you'll feel, you'll see those things back up so you can kind of focus on me. Times I'm gonna, I don't know how many times I've said that. This has been like all day for me, so for you, it's whatever. So you see it expand and drop back. I can't hold it still. And drop back. So as you're tightening this, that's what you feel. But, as you'll notice, this is pushing through, it's pushing out, and those brakes are coming out. Alright, here's how we're going to see the brakes, uh, how they work. Go ahead and push the brakes on my... Did you put the brakes on? Push the brakes. Now release the brakes. Push them. Release them. So you'll notice, push the brakes, that didn't move. Release brakes. Now push the brakes. So only this side is moving. This will be the trailing edge. So that's kind of what's happening. All right, we're gonna go and move on to adjusting. All right, so I got the brakes zeroed out. I got everything ready. I had a hard time putting this on. And I had to loosen that. Little thingamajigger up there. That's where those two cables come together because now that I have a whole bunch of extra brake pad, I don't need so much pedal. So, I had to loosen all of that, but now, before I, I could not get this on, I mean, I beat on it with my hands, you know, nothing major. Um, now I can slide that on. So I'm gonna adjust this until when I spin this, I can listen and hear the brakes just lightly touching in here. So then when I move that, that brake pad, it's gonna bite. All right, we'll do that. All right, so I, I tightened it down and, and I, could, I could barely move it. The, the maintenance guy at the golf cart said, tighten it until, it until you can't move it and then back off. But I know that I'm starting to make contact. So I'm gonna come back in here I'm gonna loosen, you can feel it, tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen. And come back two clicks. And so I grab this and I can spin it. And so my 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 pedal throw, I can adjust with that. And that'll be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I uh, got the top part of this adjusted. I'm gonna adjust my throw now with that. Cause that's that's all. And that right there, adjusting the throw of the pedal. On this club car, oh, let me get my fingers out of the way, my phone's upside down. So you have the the bolt, which the front bolt is going to, you know, it's it's gonna go up that it's it's gonna so going forward that literally goes and connects to your pedal. So you hit that and then the pedals I can't really see, but so here I'm gonna tighten that until the slack is gone from, let me see, look at the phone here. All right, so I have my cables here. I'm gonna tighten this till the slack is pretty much gone out of them. Um, I want a little bit of distance when I hit the pedal. I don't want the, to be right on the top of the floor. So I'll be laying over there on the floor with my right hand doing this on the other, I'm on the passenger side now. And I'm just going to tighten that first screw until my pedal feels about where I want it to be. And then I'm going to tighten that second screw into the, it's, 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 it's called a jam nut. So I'm going to tighten the one screw and loosen the other screw and screw them into each other. And it's going to lock that in place. So, and that's it. That's the whole deal.